All right, this is a modern <coughs> rendition of a folklore that, that talked about how, how foot binding came to be in China. A long time ago, in ancient China, men and women just started to settle in China. They were having a hard time. The, rug, the terrain was rugged, the climate was harsh, but there was a wise and beautiful woman named Luo. Luo came to her aid, came to their aid. She taught them how to make Chinese food, how to survive in the climate, how to till the land, and for all her virtue and good works, the gods promoted her to be a goddess. So Luo joined the gods in the heavens, and the people commemorated her by building temples and making lifelike statues of her everywhere in China. So the, the, the women and the children can pray to Luo whenever they needed help. Well, one day, the wicked emperor, Chao Xin, Chao Xin went to the temple to pray, but instead of praying, he was transfixed by the statue of Luo. And he fell in love with that beautiful face, and he said, I must have Luo for my wife. Bring her to me. I want to marry her. Only her is worthy of the royal chamber. Well, this did not sit well with the gods. They said, hmm, let's call a staff meeting. Let's figure <laughs> out how to give the pro appropriate punishment for Chao Xin. Who will volunteer to go down on earth and give poor advice to the emperor so that they will result in poor decisions that ultimately cause his own doom? Well, the vixen demon volunteer. The vixen demon has an impressive resume of enticing husbands with wandering eyes into adulterous affairs. So she's ready to take on missions of a grander magnitude. So back on Earth, the courtiers were laughing behind the back of the emperor. They're saying, he's gone stark mad. The emperor has fell in love with the statue. A wise advisor spoke up, of course. He said, why don't we decree that no maiden in your kingdom will be allowed to give in marriage until you found a girl whose beauty that matches Luo to be your wife. So this was good to the emperor, and a search was conducted throughout the Middle Kingdom. And a girl named Taki, she just turned 14, was chosen to be the empress. Now, she was actually terrified of this supposedly good fortune. And on the many days of journey to the capital city, she, uh, she prayed to the gods every night for her parents' safety, and then cried herself to sleep. And on the night before she reached her destination, the vixen demon appeared before Taki and said, do not be afraid. I'm here on a mission from Luo. Now this was, this was comforting for Taki because Luo was a, a goddess that, was, that befriends women and children. The demon the uh, vixen demon said, my mission is to punish Chao Xin, the evil emperor. Taki said, I'm just a helpless girl. How? I, can't, I don't know how to punish anyone, much less the emperor of China. The vixen demon says, I will become you. I will do all the hard work. I just have to take over your body for a season. Do you understand? Now, Taki says, oh, I see. But don't take too long about it, because it's weird having somebody be inside your body. <laughs> so let it be done as you said. So the vixen demon entered Taki, the, the little girl, the 14-year-old girl's body. Now, Taki still looked exactly the same as before, except now her foot shrunk. Both her feet shrunk to the size and shape of a fox. Now, this was annoying at first to the vixen demon, but figured that no one would notice inside her shoes. You know, she didn't do anything about it. And after the royal wedding, the vixen demon went to work. She gave so many bad advice that the, the emperor, the wicked Chaosin, started committing acts of atrocity. And he is uh, executing many of his advisors unjustly and devised those instruments of torture for those subjects that were disagreeable with the crown, so to speak. So the people grew hateful of Chaosin. They talked of rebellion openly. But at the same time, at the same time, the, the queen, the victim demon, became very popular, became a general favorite with the court women. Instead of being envious of her beauty, the ladies, the wives and the concubines, they were 
they were enthralled by the plumpness of Vixen's body, the fairness of her complexion, the fire in her eyes, and most of all, the smallness of her feet. And they started devising methods of making their foot look smaller so that perhaps they will win the emperor's favor. Well, sadly, this absurd fashion got out of the royal palace and the men of China started developing a fetish for small feet. So the mothers start binding their daughters' feet and then bending the toes backwards, downwards, until it snapped, the bone broke. And eventually, the little girl's feet, they have to suffer, endure this, until their feet look like that of a deer hoof with a deep crease in the center, all for the sake of marrying well. And unfortunately, even today, the power of the vixen demon is still felt in the world because there are still some men and women out there who think that it's more desirable to have a small pair of misshapen feet <coughs> than regular functional ones. But back to our story. The people conducted a rebellion. They overthrew the dynasty, and they put Chosen to death using one of his very own instruments of torture. But the noblemen and lords knew that the favorite queen was behind all the worst evils, so they demanded the death of Taki. But no one wanted to execute the most beautiful, charming woman in all of China. So finally, a gray-bearded loyal advisor said, I will do it on condition of being blindfolded. So he thrust a sword, sharp sword, through Taki's heart. But instead of collapsing, the queen's, excuse me, vixen demon, and the, the queen's body swayed back and forth, and the large and large mountain fox appeared out of her side. And glancing around imperiously, the fox ran past the courtiers, the officials, and the guards out of the palace. But what's even more amazing is they gather around the queen. Not only did she not die, there were no evidence of any punctured wound on her body. She opened her eyes and says, where am I? Why am I lying on the floor? And then she quickly remembered, oh, for the last several years, the victim demon had been taking over her bodies to do her mission. But nobody believed her story until that night when the servant girls were undressing the queen and they noticed that the queen's feet were restored to human shape and size. And they believed her. Of course, Taki got married later on to a good nobleman and they lived happily ever afterwards. And that's how the tradition of foot binding came to China.